Hi, it's Elisa B. Have you ever wondered how to change one of these doorknobs that's got hidden screws and it seems impossible to take off? Well, today we're gonna to talk about how to remove this and put on something a little bit more modern. So whether you're looking just for your own personal taste or if you're looking to sell your house, this is something that's very cost effective and easy for you as the homeowner to do that could help increase value in your home and get a buyer to write an offer on your house. So if you find this information valuable, go ahead, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, or even leave a comment. We really appreciate all of your support and stay tuned because we're going to be coming out with a lot more videos on simple things that you as the homeowner can do to your house to increase the value. So the tools you'll need are quite simple. You'll need a drill with a Phillips head and a block of wood or a wood shim, anything will do, a flathead screwdriver, and then also a very tiny flathead screwdriver, if you can see how small that is, is helpful. And then here's a couple of things you may or may not need, um, but I always like to kind of keep them handy and that's my super hack I'm gonna get into a little bit later. So when you're trying to change out a doorknob with no visible screws, it's got a little hidden trick mechanism and you might need to spin the doorknob around to find it, but it's located right here. And it's a little release lock and lever system that you will need this tiny screwdriver for. So what you need to do is take this little screwdriver and insert it and press this piece of metal down. This releases this handle. Now you should then be able to just pull this off that's going to leave this portion exposed. So once you have that plate off, it's gonna expose the two bolts that you're gonna need to remove. And there's a trick to this, keep your hand on the back side of this doorknob and keep a little pressure on it. Otherwise, it's too loose in that bolts is a lot harder to remove. It will just kind of spin in place. So if you keep pressure on it, you can remove that. Now you just want to take this section off and remove the back section. They should just pull out really easily and you can get those two off. The next phase is to pull these two screws out. They're holding the plate in place. to remove this portion right here. Sometimes they're very easy and you can just push from this side and pop it out. Sometimes they're wedged in here and you might have to stick a screwdriver in and pull. And that way it will pull off this whole section and you can remove it. So that's how you remove a doorknob that has hidden screws. So now that you have your doorknob completely removed is the fun part. You get to open up your new doorknob. So let's just talk about some of the parts when you open up your doorknob. So this is the part that you're gonna be installing first and it may come with two face plates. So it's this one right here. And this is just based on whether or not you need a rounded corner or more of a rectangular corner. And then you're also gonna have the plate that's on the door frame and you've got your doorknobs over here. So this is gonna be the second portion that you install. It actually has the bolt threads on this side. So this part will slide onto here and then you can see the bolts will go through here and they need to line up right here. Now this gets a little tricky because it's gonna be a door is gonna be right through here, so you can't really see it. So I'll, I'll give you a little trick when we're installing that. Once that's on, then you can install the doorknob on this side, and you will have a doorknob that's completely installed. And you've also got a few extra screws here. So you've got these two bolts. These are the bolts that are going to go into the doorknob here. And then you've got a couple of short screws and long screws. So let's not forget, there's one more piece in here that you may or may not use. So when you're going to install this, so maybe on the inside of your door, you don't have a faceplate at all. 
and what you'll notice is just a circular portion like this. But most doorknobs don't have this. They'll usually give you two plates. So you wanna look and see right here, is it already cut out and notched for a rectangular plate or one with the curved edges? And if you need to switch these out, which I will need to switch these out because mine are rectangular, it's a quick and simple thing. So just take a flathead screwdriver and right here you'll see when I pop this out, you wanna insert the screwdriver right into here and just twist and it should pop off. Sometimes you might need to do this the other side as well, but basically they lock into position here. Now keep this side on the original side where it was at and when you're looking at this face plate, you'll see there's a slight indentation on one side. That's the side that needs to go to the flat side here. So just make sure your orientation is correct. So I wanna take a moment too and just point out here, there's a built-in feature that you can adjust how long this is in case it doesn't fit into your space. Um, but what I would suggest is put it in there first and just see if you can get it to fit as is and that way you don't have to play around with this adjustment. But it's located right here and there's a little lever that you press down and then you can slide this back and forth to accommodate your opening. But what you want to make sure when you do this orientation that this flat side goes to the flat side here on this plate. So when they get inserted, it's going to get inserted like that. So just make sure your orientation is right and you wanna look at the inside of this doorknob here for this plate. So now that we know what the orientation is, we're just going to slide this in. So they usually give you two sets of screws. One is a short screw and one is a longer screw. Start with the short screw. That way, if you need to make any adjustments later, uh, you can always switch it out to the longer screw and you don't have to fill any holes. So you wanna install the two screws right here on the plate. Now that you've got the plate in place, and notice the length here, it fits. So I didn't have to do any adjustments. One is for the inside, one is for the outside. It doesn't matter if you don't have a locking mechanism, which one goes on the outside, but make sure that if you have a lock that you're putting the lock on the correct side. So with this one, there's also, you can see a curvature here, and there's a curvature right in here. So in order to get this in, you want to insert these two into these holes and you can push this in to release it. Right here, you can see this little release that's happening. And you want to push this in, line it up. Now you've got your first doorknob on. So for the sake of this video, I'm gonna stick this on the inside so that you can see what happens with the next side. So now that you've got that door handle on, you wanna take the second piece, this is the exterior portion, and again, you want to line it up so you'll see there's a, oh, like a half oval here that's gonna line up with this, so there's really only one way that you can put it on. And that just slides on top like that. So here's a couple of tricks when you're doing this. You don't wanna put it all the way up because you need to line up these holes for these bolts. So I leave it back about an inch and that gives me the space that I can then look in and see this bolt has to go in and line up with the hole inside. And I just finger tighten it, make sure that it's uh, lined up. Same thing with this side. And whenever you're screwing something in, you wanna make sure that you do the both sides evenly, especially on a doorknob. So what I'll do is I'll get this first bolt set almost all the way, then I'll go ahead and do this second side, then I'll tighten them both up.
Now before you tighten them up, you see all this play in here? You want to just take a look because sometimes when you remove the old doorknob, there's a circle left from the paint or the varnish. So just make sure that it's covering up where the old doorknob was. So once you have it into place, you can go ahead and tighten down these two bolts. So in this box, they also give you an Allen wrench in order to be able to put this final handle on and adjust it. If for some reason they don't have one, you might need an Allen wrench set. So you just go ahead and insert this handle on and I'll show you right here is actually the screw hole for where that screw is placed and it's located over here on this side. So once you insert that on, you want to take your Allen wrench and tighten down that little screw. So now you can't pull that handle off and it works like magic. So let's get into talking about how to change out this faceplate on the other side of the door. When changing the doorknob, this is the one section that you might run into issues with and in putting this plate on there. So as you can see, they ran into a few issues when they installed it, uh, but we're just gonna go ahead and replace it. Now ideally what you want is this edge right here to be snug up against this hole that's dug. So when the door shuts completely, it'll latch properly. Now what happens sometimes is people install these up over where this cutout is. And if that happens, your door won't close all the way. So you would need to chisel this little section out, which is rather simple to do. You can use an X-Acto knife and a chisel set to create this nice little indentation. And just make sure that that lines up and fits. Now, here's another little trick. In case they drilled these holes in the wrong place, which it looks like they did, so this door won't shut correctly, and this faceplate, you can see these screw holes are just a little bit off. So here's where a really cool trick is gonna come into play. So we're gonna use some wood glue and some toothpicks. So I always keep these right in uh, my drill bit box so they come in handy whenever I need them. And this is also a helpful trick. I take an old popsicle stick, partly because my glue is getting down to the bottom and partly because I left it out in the garage and it's cold so it doesn't want to flow properly. But I just basically take a popsicle stick, stick it inside of here, pull out a little bit of glue. And this also you can kind of help just determine how much glue you actually want to pull out of the jar. Then you take your toothpick and you roll the tip around a little bit. Get a lot of glue on there and just go ahead and stick it inside of that hole as far back as you can and snap it off. And it should snap off right at the edge. Now, as you can notice, there's still a hole there. So I can go ahead and now take this flat portion wedge that into that hole as far as I can. Again, snap it off. And then what I like to do with this pointy end of the toothpick, again, get a little glue on that. You can actually wedge this in and find out exactly how much of a gap is left and snap it off. So this is a really great, easy way to fix a hole and you let that dry. Once that's dry, you'll come back in, re-drill the new hole, and now you've got the old hole filled with wood and you can go ahead and put the screws where you need to. So again, when installing this plate, they give you a long screw and a short screw. I always start with the short screw and that way if you need to, you've got a little bit of extra grip with the longer screw. So since this hole is already correct, we're just gonna go ahead and insert this back in. And again, when you're doing two screws, always put them both in partially, make sure it's situated where you want, and then go ahead and tighten it down. So now all you have to do is double check and make sure that door locks. 
If you need to make any adjustments, it's probably gonna be right here with this plate. <laughs>